fabulous because it's raining. I just got home from dropping my little brother off at the bus stop in Cincinnati. Uh, it's about an hour away, so it's not like it's a little drop. Um, but he is done with college for the year and or the semester, whatever you want to say. And he is at my parents or going to my parents' place for the holidays. My other brother and I, we will be going also to my parents. I'm like taking my shoes off as I do this. Um, but my other brother and I will be at my parents' place in about a week. I know I'm, I'm driving up on Saturday, next Saturday. So my phone has been broken and it was sent off to Apple and supposedly it was supposed to be done today. It is not. It's going to be done on Wednesday. So yeah, sorry this vlog has been kind of crappy because I am running out of ways to record stuff. So yeah, um... Game plan for today is I have uh, some of my friends coming over and we are doing a Christmas party with just like board games and stuff. And then Sunday I'm having my best friends from childhood slash just my best friends. So the ones that are coming today are coworkers. Uh, we are gonna do our annual Christmas party and also the wrap up of our book <laughs> challenge. So that's a couple months coming. But yeah, so I'm gonna do some shopping for some food, not a ton, a little bit of cleaning, and I gotta clean up the craft room that my brother was sleeping in, so. something um kids started eating Tide Pods and so what Tide decided to do was change their packaging and I hate it so it has one of those safety lids that like you know how medicine has it where you like squeeze the sides and then you can twist it that's exactly what this is except it was so flipping hard to open it and it still has like, so this is supposed to like, I don't know if it's even supposed to be real, but it imitates the, like, that you used to be able to lift it up and then, yeah, and it, it doesn't. It's fake. It's a trick. Oh, come on, people. Let's stop eating soap so we can go back to just having easy to open Tide Pod containers. So I found everything that I need except for the puff pastry, which I'm gonna set out these crescent rolls instead. I'm back from my outing at Aldi and I bought more than I had planned to, but I found some really good finds. So since it's a holiday party, and I'll be honest, we will be drinking. Uh, I bought the Great Lakes Christmas Ale, um, so uh, as you probably heard at this point, I live in Ohio. The Great Lakes is a uh, beer brewing company in, well, sort of in the area. It's up by Lake Erie, and this is their Christmas Ale. Is it their 30th, uh, 30th year, so 30th anniversary? I will be honest, I 
had this beer when I was in college and I did not like it. But uh, Great Lakes is a popular brand, whatever we want to call it. So I figured I would get that. I only grabbed six just in case no one else likes it. Um, those are my keys. Oh my gosh, guys, look at the calendar I found. So I have a thing for maps. Um, I have, well, now I have this calendar. I have this map right here that is the map of my college and then i have another one that's rolled up because it got kind of damaged when i moved not this move but last move so this i love and they don't sell it anymore because i was looking to get a replacement and a bigger version so i have that one and then i have it's kind of dark but i have this map which i love I got it at Home Goods. Um, actually, for like two years, I was looking at it, and then finally, I just bit the bullet and bought it. Uh, not to be a I don't know what I was looking for, but not to toot my own horn, but uh, I love Ohio. It looks perfect. Plus, I picked the perfect colors because we're OSU is scarlet and gray and white, so. Looks great. Michigan, they picked like a weird brown color instead of blue and gold. So they didn't totally go with sports teams or football, but it's a great map. So this map, it's an 18 month calendar, which I normally don't like because I kind of get sick of them after a bit, but I'm loving the art style. So honestly, let's just open it because open open man I remember when I used to get calendars that were in these sort of like calendar envelope things yeah I remember I got one the same kind of feel it had like weird drawn cats all over it Oh man, wait, does this what is this what they mean by 16 month calendar because I've got this lame ass page? What the heck? Oh my gosh! Thailand is one of the maps! Don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I lived here for four or five years when I was very, very small. I don't remember a ton of it, but there are certain aspects that I do remember. I remember stray dogs. I remember um the pool that we were at a lot. I remember my school. I remember seeing an alligator or a crocodile outside of it. It was small, but we still couldn't go outside. I remember these weird, yeah, these things, these carts that we rode in. There's like a little light bulb up at the top to let you know, like if there was a stop, I think. I don't know. I don't remember what the, I just remember there was a light bulb. I don't remember what it was for. Uh, never been to Denmark, never been to Spain, never been to Ireland. So I've been to Europe a lot. But literally pretty much just been to Germany so oh my gosh what are the odds this is the best calendar ever so Frankfurt am Main is where I visit um and where else have I gone to oh uh, basically nowhere else <laughs> this is horrible um have I been to Leipzig hmm oh Köln we went to Köln uh so we saw the Köln Dome and yeah awesome okay what's for my birthday <gasps> australia i've been to australia as well i have been to um what i've been to sydney we went on the sydney harbor bridge we went to the opera house and then why is the other Wow, like Sydney has no cities on it. Okay, so I'm terrible and I'm forgetting the city that I flew into that is down here. Oh my god. I'm 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 going to put it down because now I feel completely stupid. Melbourne. 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 Woo. That was a close one. March is Greece. My family has an inside joke about me and Greece that I will not repeat. 
Argentina. These are some interesting countries that they've decided to do. Never been there. I've never been to England. It is on like my five year plan. I'm going because, well, I guess this is Great Britain because you have Scotland and Wales. Where's Edinburgh? Would like to go there. Brazil, never been there, but would love to. Oh, the United States. Ew, we look so, like, look how beautiful some of these are. Like, cool animals. Awesome, like, very well-known features. And then you get to the United States, and it basically looks like cowboys. A guitar. Texas, of course, Hollywood. A bear. Las Vegas. And then the one building is... The White House. Cool. Italy. Switzerland. I've been here as well. Oh my gosh. So many of these places I've been. Where in Switzerland? I don't know. I actually should find out where. Uh, my dad was working in Switzerland for about a year when my mom my middle brother and I were in Germany uh, because we were starting school age. So Germany is one of these countries. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible at geography. France, I've also been to France, went to Paris and we drove through Strasbourg, I believe. Iceland, have not been to Iceland, but my best friend has been to this place. And probably other places. In Canada! Oh my gosh, Canada has like nothing except for trees and moose. That's funny. I've been to Canada, but essentially, Niagara Falls. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this calendar! Food wise, uh, I put in my reusable box lunch bag that I got from the best store ever. Talked about it earlier. I grabbed some chips. So, that. And the corn chips, I, the, the one thing I would say about these corn chips, they're for them Aldi, Clancy is like their house brand, they're always broken. Like a lot of them are broken. I think they don't, like, they need to make a bigger bag with more air. So there's a lot of chips in here, but a lot of them end up being broken. So that's always a disappointment. So I tend not to buy them. Um, the Frito, if that's the brand, they're, they're just better. I purchased hummus, like I said I was going to. I grabbed, this isn't food, but more scotch tape for present wrapping. I brought this off-brand Velveeta cheese. And two cans of this original chili. Uh, I thought I would try that out. Normally I get the Skyline Chili brand chili, but this one was $2 cheaper. So in the end, four dollars total cheaper i bought pina colada ice cream which i should put in the freezer right there oh actually up here i also have some coconut bars maybe people want that and then i also bought these like Sugar cookie dough. They're kind of reminiscent of the Pillsbury, so we'll see. I also bought just like their standard sugar cookies. I love sugar cookies, so I'll try that out. If it's not good, I'll go back to my normal Kroger brand. But I hope that it's good because it is a lot cheaper. And then I also bought these sea salt caramel chocolate chunk cookies. Figured that everyone likes cookies. I also, ow, I mentioned I got the crescent rolls and these were on sale for like 89 cents. So I got these instead of the puff pastry because I couldn't find it. And honestly, they may not have it right now. And then I bought these cocktail sausages for the chili casserole. And here is the beef for the fundido cheese style dip. Uh, I have beef, but it's frozen, and it would have taken too long to thaw, so I just bought some more, and I'll use the frozen stuff for my stuffed cabbages later. And then I also bought, so I've been 
starting to get into both one of this is upside down started to get into essential oils so i got i got a uh, peppermint and lavender because i wanted this like candle <laughs> at home goods because it smelled so good and then I read the notes and it was lavender and peppermint and I was like oh perfect Aldi had them for I think two dollars each so we'll try that in my janky 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 <laughs> container contraption oh yes I need to buy a new one There's something about recipe following that just has me saying no. I am not a big fan of following the recipe. Uh, yeah, so once I make it, I pretty much just see if I can remember it and whatever. So I feel like I remember putting chili powder in there. Obviously, I am also not a fan of measuring. So there's some chili powder. Now, over in the crock pot, we are going to put this stuff, because I remember searching for this Rotel. So that's going to go in, and we might as well stick our crock pot up on here. This is, whenever I have friends over, I just use this as like the buffet table. Crock pot is plugged in. We are going to set it to high, because why not and we are gonna stick this fake cheese in fake off brand it's not only fake cheese but it is the off brand of the fake cheese there it is doesn't it look great all right the can of rotel has been dumped in next to the fake cheese all that's left is that beef over there. All right, the beef is in. My neighbors are doing God knows what upstairs, but I can hear it. I think it's always hard to mix this stuff because the cheese isn't melted yet. So we'll probably just leave it there for two hours until it is edible. And wrote my special gift, what's that? Ooh. What is it, John? Free, um, a free happy holiday. Oh, a free happy holiday. A free PlayStation theme.